Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Man, I got something that I got to update y'all on about the president or former president and what's going on with the shooting, how it happened, how it was set up, what's going on moving forward. Um, It's pretty crazy. Um, I just had to give y'all this information. I got a lot of information that came in that I got to give to y'all as far as an update that goes with that. Um, Trump's lucky. Uh, some people say it's a setup. Some people say it's not. Um, I'm not going to go there with it. I'm going to keep it 50-50 until I know more. But the information I'm about to show y'all, y'all can make y'all decision on it. Leave some comments, uh, feedback, you know, about everything, what y'all think. Um, that's going on um this is crazy once again um i'm glad that he actually lived uh put my hat down for the people that didn't make it or the person that didn't make it and everyone else that was injured but we got to do better man um and i know trump's not playing i know he he don't play when i saw him in charlotte a few years back he he rose deep he don't play I don't think he's like a Putin, but he probably will be like a Putin as far as that security goes moving forward. Um, y'all check this clip out. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay cool. It's hot outside, y'all. Peace. Take a look what happened. A newly released diagram shows just how narrowly Trump avoided a fatal incident. Had he turned his head just a millisecond earlier or later, the bullet would have struck his skull. Additionally, there is a photo that captures the bullet in the frame. Despite this evidence, some claim the situation was staged. However, Trump had no way of predicting the exact moment he needed to turn his head to avoid the bullet. The sequence of events clearly shows that he grabbed his ear and then ducked. The sound of the shot is only heard after he reacts because the bullet travels faster than the speed of sound. This is the second shot that hits his ear, as evidenced by his hand being raised at the moment the bullet strikes. You'll notice his hand moving to his ear just a millisecond before the second gunshot. It's important to remember that the bullet itself is silent and the sound originates from 400 feet away. For those questioning why the shot didn't sound as loud as expected, consider the distance of the sound's origin and the placement of the microphones. Given all this, do you still think it was staged? Look, there he is. You can hear bystanders desperately trying to alert police. Authorities now using that video as part of the investigation. And tonight, ABC News has learned that heavily armed local police were stationed inside that building and Miss Thomas Crooks climbing up the outside of the building to the roof. The same building was being used as a staging area for local police, according to two law enforcement officials. And Butler Township officials are confirming ABC News' reporting that a local police officer climbed up the roof and confronted Brooks moments before the shooting. The man who was killed in an assassination attempt on Donald Trump threw himself in front of his family to protect them. 50-year-old retired fire chief Corey Comperator was sitting behind Trump at the rally in Pennsylvania when Matthew Thomas Crooks opened fire. A bullet pierced the upper part of Trump's ear and two other people were critically wounded. But sadly, Corey died whilst trying to shield his wife and daughter from the gunfire. His daughter, Allison, said he died a real-life superhero. Breaking news. It has been confirmed that Thomas Matthew Crooks, the man who attempted to assassinate Donald Trump, posted a forewarning on the gaming platform Steam. The 20-year-old gunman wrote, July 13th will be my premiere. Watch as it unfolds. Just days before he opened fire at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. On July 13th, Crooks positioned himself on a rooftop 130 yards away from the stage where Trump was speaking. The FBI's investigation revealed that Crooks had researched the rally details and was armed with two cell phones, one of which had only 27 contacts. Despite being identified as a suspicious individual by the Secret Service 10 minutes before Trump took the stage, Crooks was allowed to remain on the rooftop. U.S. Senators were briefed that over an hour elapsed from the time Crooks was first spotted to when he fired the initial shots. 
Secret Service counter snipers saw him on the roof 20 minutes before he started shooting. The motive behind Crooks's actions remains unclear. Officials have not found any ideological material that could explain his rationale. Crooks operated several accounts on encrypted platforms, which authorities are still attempting to access. How the assassin carried out the shooting. During Trump's tightly secured speech, the speech took place at a farm in Pennsylvania. Thomas Matthew Crooks parked his truck on a side road, avoiding the main road where police and agents were stationed. Investigations later revealed that the truck contained a significant amount of explosives. After exiting the vehicle, the man armed with a weapon moved to his ambush point, using a ladder to climb onto a roof. Snipers were positioned on the rooftop of a barn behind the stage to protect Trump. While Crooks was hiding on the roof, the on-site snipers spotted him but failed to maintain adequate surveillance and monitoring, allowing the assassin to exploit this oversight. From a distance of over 100 meters on the roof, his first shot hit Trump's ear. In fact, he had aimed for Trump's head, but as the bullet left the barrel, Trump turned his head to look at data on a nearby screen. This head turn saved him from death. If Trump had maintained his previous posture while speaking, the bullet would have struck his head directly. After the assassination attempt, the snipers targeted the assassin's position and fired, killing him on the spot. Breaking news. Allegedly, the Secret Service agent who took out the person who was attempting to assassinate Donald Trump has now lost his job. A lot of people have heavily scrutinized the fact that he basically had to shoot her completely lined up in his line of sight, but didn't take the shot. This information may or may not be true, but if it is, the person in this photo is known as Jonathan Willis. Jonathan Willis is a Secret Service agent who was given direct orders to not take the shot when he had him in his line of sight for over three minutes. That's right, he had him in his line of sight for over three minutes, but the head of Secret Service told him not to take the shot. If this is actually true, it would actually make a lot of sense because you can clearly see in several different videos that this Secret Service agent was basically just looking down his line of sight for a while in the same direction. Keep in mind that the agent ended up disregarding the orders and took the shot out against the person who was trying to assassinate the previous president. It could be several days before we get any more information on this, but make sure you're following and I'll update you with everything because I'm sure we are all asking the same question. Should this Secret Service agent Agent be held responsible or no. The FBI discovers something shocking in the house of Thomas Crooks, who attempted to take the life of Donald Trump. They find a hidden tunnel in the bathroom. Intrigued, they enter the tunnel, which proves to be much more extensive and well-built than they expected, with signs of recent activity. Suspense mounts as they advance, unsure of what they will find. In the end, they come across a hidden room, revealing a case unprecedented in the history of the United States of America. Get ready for an incredible discovery that will shock the world. Click on the More button and comment Part 2 for the end of the story.